it's Wendy Elaine Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager. And today I'm with the amazing Joey Paul Jensen, who's been a casting director for over 25 years. And you may have seen her cast movies like Soul Surfer, which was really one of my favorite movies, and That's So Raven. And I'm so excited to have you here today, Joey. And one of the first um, questions I want to ask you is, and this is, a comp this is something actors seem to struggle with all the time. Mm -hmm. They're not confident going in the audition room and they're really trying to be what they think the casting director wants them to be. And I, and I really try to teach actors that that's not what you want. Can you, can you speak to that? Of course. And thank you so much for inviting me. It's always so wonderful to be with actors. It's probably the most inspiring thing ever. Mm -hmm. um, but I really feel that um, you've got to get to that moment in time where you celebrate what you are commanding yourself to do in the room. And ultimately when you audition, it is a performance, okay? So you can't get away from the fact that it's a performance because you know everybody will say, well, it's still an audition, it's still moldable and you wanna kind of give off that vibe. But at the same time, it's really a performance. And so you know in your mind, it's this mindset that when you prepare for perform performing, that's your ultimate. So when you're really great at performing, you get to that place where you are so committed, you celebrate that, and you know you are it. Because you are it until or unless they pick someone else. So you cannot think that I'm trying to be what they want because you are what they want. If a thousand people were submitted and a hundred people are chosen to audition, 90% of the competition is gone. You're already in the 10%. Mm -hmm. So if you love your choices and you love yourself in your choices, then your mindset has to be that they need to recognize it because you are it for that moment in time. There is no one else in the role. And you have to leave with that feeling of knowing you did everything you could. If it yes. doesn't happen, it's not because you didn't please them to think, could I thought of something else for them to see me as it. You have to know like you're preparing for the ultimate performance. And if, so you, it's kind of like, that, if, if, you, if you treat it like you've been hired for the job already, this yes. is your take on it. And this is your presentation of it. And you give it with a thousand percent of your soul. Yes, you can't. There is no guessing. It's only your artistry of creating your craft. And hopefully they will have the wherewithal to not change your, their mind while they're after they watch you. Because mm -hmm. when they're watching you, you are it. When you're watching, when they're watching you, you are it. You are the role. You At are that it. moment, you are the role. And if they never change their mind off of it, you've got it. That's right. And, and, and if, if an actor comes into the room um, uh, unprepared, do you see that sometimes when an actor comes into an audition unprepared? Does that, like if they're all not off book, is that important that they be off book? I think it depends. Depends. And ultimately, in these days when so much has been done, when you prepared initially on tape mm -hmm. and then you're going in live, at that point, you have to be off book because the competition is so fierce. But the problem is a lot of actors don't understand their memorization skill. So you have to know your instrument and its ability or lack of ability in the memorization skill. Are uh, there certain skills people can do, things people can do to develop memorization skills? Yes. So when I teach, I like to teach developing your photographic memory because, um, you know, some people say, well, you either have it or you don't. I don't believe that. I believe everyone has a photographic memory, but it's a skill that people just don't develop. You know, they think either I'm a fast runner, or I'm a slow runner, but that's not true. Some people are slower runners, but then they start running and they realize, oh my God, I got faster. Wow. So being able to see things as pictures is your photographic memory. So everyone has the ability to see things as pictures. Mm -hmm. the, the trick is to now see dialogue as pictures and then speed up the way you see those pictures like the script starts happening as a movie as you see the pictures of lines and then those impress upon your brain as imagery and it's much easier to remember pictures than words. 
So if you tell your brain you're remembering the image of pictures, image of words as pictures, you memorize them so much faster. Oh my God, and, I had no idea. And then you have to work on your relationship of what you know to your nervous system because you cannot allow your nervous system to come into play when you come into the room because that's what upsets the balance. Oh my God, that's so interesting. There, there's something that you talk about, self-direction and impact. Can mm -hmm. you explain what that is? What is self-direction and impact? Self-direction is definitely a mindset. It's probably a phrase that I've been using for 25 years, if not longer. And I realized it from being an actor myself and being groomed in the theater. So, so many actors have this mentality when they're training. It's like, I don't know why, but sometimes as an actor, you develop a victim mentality. You're, you're waiting. You're waiting for people to tell you what to do, how to do. And yeah. honestly, some of it comes from training in the theater. Because when you train and you're in a play, you memorize your lines and you show up and you're like a blank slate. And you wait for the director to give you your blocking. You wait for the director to tell you the vision. And you sort of have this mentality of, I'm moldable. And it, you even see it when an actor comes in the room, they make a choice. And then as soon as they're done, the first thing they say is, I can do it any other way. Would you like to see it another way? And it's like, if I ask for another way, that that's fine. But if you immediately ask me, do I want to see it another way? It makes me feel like you weren't confident in what you yeah. did. Yeah. And so it's this self-actualization that you never wait for anyone. And you create your vision. Because remember, the writer who gave you that material saw the movie in their brain before they wrote it. So your commitment needs to be seeing the movie in your brain that the writer saw in his brain, self-actualizing on that, and then asking yourself every question possible and having a checklist of that every question possible, checking that list to make sure you bulletproof yourself so you are self-directed. And when you're self-directed and you come in the room and you have very specific choices, specific choices about you know the who, what, why, where, when, that mentality, your moment before, the moment you leave, and a director sees that, a director thinks, oh my God, I don't have to direct this actor. That will save me time, done. That's what it is. Uh, and knowing that because you're so confident in that, in what you do, it leaves an impact when you're finished. So when you're finished, you know, it's like there's that Broadway song. It's not where you start. It's where you finish. And why is that important? Because it's that impact. So just as important when you slate and at the end, you have to have that connection that final moment of connection is reassuring yourself you made the impact that you set out to do. And that leaves a lasting impression and can very much make the difference in your outcome. And these are techniques and, and things that actors have to learn. There's a difference between going to film school or going to theater department and getting a degree in theater and then actually learning how to audition for TV and film and learn these things that you're teaching. Sure. And, 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 and I, and I really, I, I see a lot of actors come out of college with a film degree and think they're ready to be on television. And there's so much more that they need to learn to master the audition process. Can you, uh, I love to send people to you to train with you. What website can they go to, to train with you? Jensen.com. It has the most recent info because we do have a new upcoming class. I'm very excited about it. So it's really good timing to join. And um, there's always updates there. And also you can email me at joeypauljensen at yahoo.com. I also do private coaching. So I work a lot with the ultimate performance of how to be your best when you're ready to audition, no matter if it's a self tape or you're going in or it's a Zoom audition. And being a casting director and a former actor, I look at it from all sides. So not only am I asking you to bulletproof yourself, but outside of your own world, I'm taking my world and applying it to you. So you have that double layer helping you. And, and that helps you to have success in the audition room. I, I believe that actors uh, don't wait until you have an audition to try to figure out where you're going to get a coach. I think you need to start working with a coach 
on your materials as you're working on your clips for your actors access for your, exactly. for your profiles and start to get familiar with a coach so take joey paul jensen's information put mm -hmm. it in your rolodex reach out to her maybe coach with her on a scene that you're going to do on your actors access yeah. and then when you have one of those great auditions that you need a coach for you already know her you already can you can contact her and you can go into that room with confidence and really win at that audition and I think that's so important to be prepared for opportunities. That's yeah. not when you want to be scrambling. That's when, you know, that's when you want to be confident and know who's on your team and who you're working with. So thank you so much for being here today. I'm, I adore you personally. I adore you and I love you. And I thank you for taking time. I know thank you're busy. You. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for inviting me. You're Stay welcome. blessed. Thank you. And I'm Wendy Elaine Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager. And watch my reels for more tips, tricks about the acting business. And I'll see you on the red carpet. Thank you.